Welcome back to episode seven of the Supermoto Bike Build. Today, we're gonna to be talking about triple clamps and handlebars. Without these partners, this bike build would not be possible. So big thanks to everyone that supports me in this build and big thanks to Phoenix Handlebars for supporting today's episode. Use code BP15 for 15% off at phoenixhandlebars.com. As I said in the intro, we're gonna be changing out our triple clamps and our handlebars. So we're gonna start by taking the entire front end apart, starting with the front wheel and then removing the forks, the front fender, the front number plate. Then we're gonna remove our hand guards along with all of our controls on our handlebars. Now that we have everything removed from the front end, we'll go ahead and take this bracket off, which holds our wiring harness. Please don't make fun of me in that on the comments for dropping the tool or the bolt right here. I was filming this with one hand and trying to take the bracket with the wiring harness attached off with one hand. So it was very difficult, but I didn't lose a bolt and I'm gonna go ahead and put it right back in the triple clamp. That way I know exactly where it's at for future use. Before removing the actual handlebars, you wanna go ahead and loosen up this bolt right here. This is the handlebar mount bolt. And if you have the handlebars off, the mounts will just twist. So make sure to loosen those up first, and then you can go ahead and take your handlebars off. Now we're able to remove those handlebars and then we'll remove those handlebar mounts. I did forget to film that, so don't criticize me on that. Now we'll go ahead and grab our 32 millimeter socket, which will take off our top triple clamp nut. Now that we have that top triple clamp nut off, we'll go ahead and remove the top triple clamp piece from the stem. Now we can go ahead and grab our mallet with a flathead screwdriver. We'll pop this nut off right here and the stem will slide right out of the head tube of the frame. These are the aftermarket triple clamps I'll be running. These are actually straight from the factory Honda L30 team that runs the S1 GP World Championship. They're a 16 millimeter offset with a wider triple clamp format so that way your front wheel doesn't rub on your forks. These triple clamps are impossible to get now so I definitely recommend reaching out to Butterman Tool Sean Butterman makes the triple clamps for the entire Supermoto community and they are awesome. So I definitely recommend hitting him up for your own set of triple clamps. So before reinstalling your new triple clamps, make sure to grease up that bearing because you do not want to put that in there ungreased. This nut right here is what holds the bottom triple clamps on. So make sure you tighten that up with your mallet and flathead screwdriver again. This also determines how loose your front end will feel. So I like to run mine a little bit tighter so it doesn't move around as much. So I definitely recommend playing with what your ride of preference is. From here, we'll go ahead and grab our top triple clamp and slide that right onto the steering stem. And then we'll go ahead and install our triple clamp nut. Before tightening that top triple clamp nut, I recommend putting your forks in. That way your top and bottom triple clamps are lined up. I did forget to film myself installing the handlebar mounts, so those are already on there. 
but it's just put the mounts through and tighten the bottom bolts. Now that our triple clamps are fully lined up, we can go ahead and tighten this top triple clamp nut down. Now that we have pretty much the whole front end done, we can go ahead and install our Phoenix handlebars and grips. Big thanks to them for sending me these handlebars and grips for this video. Really appreciate them. And make sure you guys go to phoenixhandlebars.com and use code BP15 for a 15% discount. I know that handlebars are a rider preference, but I 100% recommend the Phoenix handlebars and grips. They are some of my favorite handlebars I've ever rode with. I actually run them on my motocross bike already, and they're just very comfortable. Phoenix handlebars actually has a test on their website that you can take to see what handlebars fits your riding style. One of the other features I really like about the Phoenix handlebars is where you hold on to. That entire area is a lot flatter than most other handlebars. So you have room to adjust your front brake and your clutch to the left. So that way it gives you more leverage on your controls. Now that we have our handlebars all mounted up, we'll go ahead and reinstall all of the controls and wires to the handlebars. So starting with the throttle body, we'll go ahead and tighten that up. Now that we have that all tightened up, we'll go ahead and put our clutch perch back on. Now that we have our clutch perch all tight, we'll put whatever you call this on. I mean, it's our kill switch slash mapping slash traction control buttons. So we'll reinstall this on the handlebar. Now that we have our kill switch slash mapping slash traction control button on, we're gonna go ahead and install our electric start button. Now that we have all of our controls back on our handlebars, this is all right of preference. I like to zip tie my kill switch button and my electric start button, the all the wiring. I like to zip tie them to my handlebars so that way they're not dangling around and won't get caught on anything. The last thing we need to do to finish our handlebars is put our bar pad on and our custom Phoenix handlebars bar pad cover, which does fit our theme perfect as it is red, white, and blue. Now that we have our triple clamps and handlebars installed, we can go ahead and put the entire front end back together, starting with the front fender, the front number plate, put that front wheel back on, and then we'll put the front brake back on. You can go ahead and put your grips on before you put the front end back together or after. I just happen to do it after. Now this is an old school trick. We grab some clear paint, we'll spray it inside of our grip and it makes it easier to slide onto the handlebar as well as once it dries, it won't twist on you. Even though my grips won't twist, I still put safety wire on there just for extra precaution. Plus it's the gold Phoenix handlebars safety wire, which does go very well with the gold Olin's forks. If you liked today's video, please feel free to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any future episodes of the Supermoto bike build. And feel free to like this video and comment down below, as well as share this video with a friend if they're trying to build their own Supermoto bike. I'll catch you Supermoto bros in the next one.